Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a simple tutorial where the player can shoot around little objects or bullets in the, until they run out of ammo or until the ammo meter reaches zero. Um, I will be using a little bit of Python, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off, I'm going to hit 7, then go on the top view and do spacebar, and then add a, a, an empty object. Add an empty object like this, make it a cube. I'll drag it back just beyond this um, other cube for a second. What I'm going to do now is right click on this cube and hit M and then move this to layer 2. So the letter M and then layer 2. So if we go into layer 2 right here we should see this. Alright. Now that we have this what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this cube to bullet. I'm going to click on the materials tab and change the material color to let's say blue. And what I'm going to do now is go from defaults to game logic and go from blender render to blender game. And I'm going to have this cube move forward on the positive Y axis. So add an always sensor with those three dots selected. And do an add actuator motion. And let's do 0 0.25 on the positive Y axis. And connect it like this. So if we hit P, we should be able to see the cube move forward like that. And if we hit escape, we can go out. Alright. Now that we have this, I'm going to go back into layer 1. And I'm going to right click on this cube, or the empty object. I'm going to hit 7 to go in the top view, and I'm going to do spacebar and then add a text object. And I'm going to move this text object over here. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to first right click on the empty object, and I'm just going to add an, um, an edit object actuator with add object, and we're going to add a bullet for a time of 50. And I'm going to rename this to shoot, the actuator name to shoot. And I'm going to minimize it. I'm then going to right click on our text object, add an always sensor with those first three dots selected, add a mouse sensor with this tab selected, and I'm going to rename it from mouse to click. I'm going to add a Python controller and connect these two sensors to it. And I'm going to shift and right click on the empty object. We'll shift and right click until both are selected, and connect the shoot actuator to the Python controller on the object like this. On our object, the, um, the game, on our text object, I'm going to add a game property. This game property will be ammo, like this. And I'll set the ammo property to 10 right now. And what we're going to do is do templates, Python, and then game logic simple. And I'm going to delete the portion I've highlighted right here. And hit control and scroll up on my mouse to make my text larger. And I'm going to rename this text object as, or I'm not, not this text object, this script as gamescripts.py. And I'm going to add this right here. And what we're going to do is define the click sensor. Click is going to equal controller.sensors click. And then shoot is going to equal controller.actuators shoot. Like this. And all right, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is below, we're just going to have it so that every time we click, it's going to display, or it's just going to fire the shoot actuator to start off. So if click.positive, we're going to do const.activate shoot. So if I hit P, I should be able to click and see the bullets are firing like this. But what I'm going to do now is have if click.positive, and own ammo is greater than zero. So if I hit this I and do game and then show debug properties and click, we should see the ammo is greater than zero. We can still shoot. But every time we shoot down here, we want to take away ammo by one. So own ammo is going to minus equal one. So if we hit P, it'll also go down all the way till zero and we can't shoot anymore. So the last thing we're going to do is just have it display on this text object how much ammo we have remaining. And this shouldn't be too bad. So what we're going to do is do own.text referring to our text object is going to equal ammo like this plus str own ammo. So this is what it's going to write on the string object like this. It'll just write this. So if we hit P, we see ammo is um, equal to 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. What we can also do is we can have it so that the, the text object ammo color, 
or um, the text object's color will change to red once it's low. So what I'm going to do is have if own ammo right here is less than let's say four. What I'm going to do is do own dot color is going to equal um, one comma zero comma zero comma true like this. And if it's greater than four, we're going to have own dot color is going to equal 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8 comma true like this so we should see if I hit play I can click and once it reaches 3 it'll turn red and then once it reaches 0 that's what it does alright so this is how you make a simple ammo system with bullets and Pyth with um, Python in the Blender game engine I hope you guys find this very useful I'll just show you the script just for one more second and there you go Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.